Okay, oh, it's ready. Blech. Oh, I think I'm ready. <laughs> Hi everyone, I thought I would do a different style of video today, basically explaining a bit about my life journey at the moment. If you do follow me over on Instagram, which I'll tag it here, and if you're not, you can go ahead and follow and you'll see my day-to-day -day journey a bit more. Today's video, I thought I would share with you my journey of why I am training to be a yoga teacher. Um, a little bit about my journey, a bit about my background. So I'm in my comfies, I'm in my joggers because I wanted it to feel like really relaxed and chilled. Some of you may or may not know but at the moment I'm doing a yoga teacher training course and it's an intensive course so it's every week, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Um, it's taken up a lot of my time and then during the week I'm expected to do like homework and read all these books and all these different things and learn Sanskrit names which is the language of yoga, <laughs> the language of all the postures that you might practice if you are into yoga yourself. Um, so yeah, it's quite time consuming, especially when you're a busy mum of two and you've also got a job that you need to kind of keep on top of and housework. So yeah, um, I don't know why, well I do know why I went for the intensive course because I have a few dreams towards the end of this year that I want to, to fulfil. And a part of that was me to do this journey of yoga teacher training so I can lead something after it. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I've got a very understanding husband who's got the kids all weekend um, until I finish towards the end of May. Um, so to some of you it might come as a it might have come as a surprise why I have decided to do yoga teacher training, but for some of you who really know me, it'll probably it's like another strand of work that I love doing. And yeah, I'll talk you through maybe my, a little bit about my background and where I'm hoping the yoga teacher training will take me. Okay, so starting from my uni days, I did a course in dance teacher training and choreography. That was my degree. I, not that it matters, but I got a first class honours degree. And so that meant that I got a scholarship to go ahead and carry on with my studies and do a master's course, which I did. So from my dance teacher training degree, the, the elements that I really fell in love with were choreography, performance, and there's another strand called somatic movement education. So the somatic side of dance was where you go in, you're drawn within yourself. So a lot of the time, it's basically kind of like the opposite of performing. So you close your eyes and you kind of feel from within and you move from whatever is stirring up in you um, or what the teacher is leading that day, but you kind of do it with eyes closed or really soft eyes. There's no judgment, there's no, are you doing it right or wrong? Um, it's just how your body flows. So anybody can do it. You don't have to be a dancer to do it. So I fell in love with that side of things and I think it was really because of the therapeutic side of it. I was also going through a lot of different things mentally myself, which I'll link another video so you can look at that. I was, uh, yeah, I was battling an eating disorder. Then I went on to do my masters and I really believe that my masters was a huge part of the healing that took place for me and this is why I'm so passionate about it now. So my masters was in dance and somatic well-being connections to the living body. So with my masters um, we went through lots of different somatic practices and these are all generally based on movement practices that you do with your eyes closed. It's a lot about how you feel from within out and it was such a transformational journey that I was like, so many people would benefit from this. So it's not therapy, but it's therapeutic. Um, so say if I was to lead a somatic movement education class, I would be giving you the tools within yourself to bring healing. Um, so instead of maybe going to a therapist and you talking about what was wrong with you, I would allow the space where whatever will rise up in your movement and the tools are just releasing the movement in a safe and non-judgmental environment meant that there was a kind of shift from that feeling of whatever you're feeling. So that's a bit about my background. I did the dance degree, the masters, and then I went over to America to study to become a Shake Your Soul teacher, which 
another name for it is called dance kinetics and that moves through all the fluids in your body so you've got cerebral spinal fluid, arterial heart pump, synovial fluid, lymphatic system. So yeah, the, the shape your soul goes through all the fluid systems in your body. So you really do come away from a class feeling an all round body, mind, spiritual kind of workout. And I really, really love it. And this is basically tailed off from when I shared my mental health journey about having an eating disorder and my the way I got healing and transformation. After that video, I got an overwhelming response of people who may be suffering with an eating disorder. They did used to suffer with an eating disorder. They know someone with an eating disorder. People suffering with anxiety, different, lots, lots of different things that would rise up for them. And ultimately, the amount of women that responded saying that they had never classed themselves as beautiful from within out and that I gave them the confidence to to go to speak out loud that they are beautiful. So that is the thing that rung so, uh, don't know what the word is, but it stuck with me. Um, and I was like, I need to do something about this. I need women to know how beautiful they are, to find their confidence from within, and to know that they have what, what it takes within themselves to give them the tools to look within, rather than getting um, gratif gratification or approval of outside exterior things, that they can find it from within. And if I can even make even one woman realise their own beauty, then that's amazing. So, at the start of this year, I kind of thought, right, I'm going to do something about this, but I'm going to do it next year, just New Year, all that kind of thing. And I thought, yeah, I'm going to do something. And then uh, I started doing yoga every day, just doing like 10 to 20 minutes, just for my own well-being and to bring it back to what is most important. Um, in life and that's your breath and your own state of mental well-being and I found it such a shift the days where I do yoga I found that I was a lot more productive on the days when I didn't and then and also sometimes it was just that feeling of being in tune with yourself then I started looking into yoga teacher training courses because I was, I was thinking it's something that I've always wanted to do but I haven't for fear that I'm not good enough to be a yoga teacher I'm not good enough to like lead a class when I can't do all the moves myself um, also the fear that I won't be able to learn everything and just all these like crazy intrusive thoughts were coming in and then when I sat down and thought Sally you can you can be a yoga teacher that's something that has actually been at the back of my mind for years and years and years, but I've always just been too afraid. Anyway, I started looking at yoga teacher training courses and then this one came up and it was right on my doorstep, but it started that weekend. So literally I was like, right, do I do this or do I not? So I inquired about it a couple of days have gone past and I hadn't heard. And then I got the phone call and I release all my fears, like I just don't think I can learn everything, like I've, I've done my masters and I'm fearful that it's the amount of work that a masters entails and I just don't know how I do that, especially with my life right now with having young children and having a house to look after, work, job and all that kind of thing and she just really help build the confidence that I'm absolutely more than capable of doing it and that she'd love to have me on the course. So then it came to having the discussion with my husband. He knew I was looking at courses anyway. And I was like, look, they have this intensive course or they have one that lasts like a year and that's like one weekend a month. And I was like, I just, he was like, want some things in your head, Sal, you just do it, just do it, we'll figure it out and he was just so supportive about it. I was speeking to his mum, my mum, and seeing if they can support him at the weekend when he's got the kids on his own. I think it's more the, the struggling for ideas of what to do, especially when it's rainy weather. 
Um, anyway, so I booked on, um, and that was about three weeks ago. And yeah, so now I'm on my journey to becoming a yoga teacher. I'm still really, really scared. I've got all these intrusive thoughts that I feel very, very overwhelmed with all the information that is coming to me. And I'm just praying that it kind of like soaks in and that it will arise when I need it. Um, I do know that I need to spend quality time kind of revising, learning all the postures, the correct alignment and the contra indications, which if you are a yoga teacher, you will know about. Um, there's a lot to learn. I need to learn all the Sanskrit names, which are basically the names of the yoga postures. It's in the language of Sanskrit. And yeah, so I'm feeling quite overwhelmed at the moment, but these intrusive thoughts that are going on in my head that do come in that say, you'll never be able to learn all this, or you'll never be able to teach a class. I've got that fear, but I'm trying to acknowledge those thoughts and just push them to the side and let the real kind of me rise up and be like, I can do this and I will do this and I will have it to my skill set for future work that I want to do. What I'm very aware of is that even when I graduate, which again in my head I'm like, what if you don't graduate? But I'm trying to still those thoughts and be like, you are going to graduate, you've got everything you need to graduate and what I am very much on the understanding of with yoga teachers, you will always want to progress your teaching, your own journey of yoga and I know that when, when I do graduate I might not feel the most confident yoga teacher but through experience and putting myself out there the confidence will come and I will keep growing in that journey. Um, so yeah, if you're, if you're wanting to, to support me on that then thank you so much. I know that I don't know everything about yoga and all the different postures just yet um, and I probably never will but I just want to allow space for people to come and really connect to their inner self and the real meaning of yoga it, it isn't to do with postures it's not to do with how high you can get your leg or balance on one arm and all these kind of things it's the stilling of the mind the quietening of the mind so those voices that come in those negative voices or busy voices like what am I going to have for tea what am I going to do for the kids birthday at the weekend that they are just quieting down and you're allowed to just be present with yourself and just be in that moment. So yeah, the teacher training is as much of a journey for myself that I want to kind of get stronger at those practices for myself and also offer them out to others. So thank you so much for watching um, and thank you for being interested in this journey with me and I hope that you journey with me so for my YouTube, I am going to be doing the fashion elements, but I also want to bring this practice into it. I also want to bring my dance side into it, so I do dance with kids, dance for women. I'd really love to know your thoughts, and if you have any ideas of what you might want me to do other videos on, like I was thinking of practices that I've, um, or things that I've instilled into my life, um, just over the past year to help with my own state of well-being and happiness and um, kind of offering what I do out there whether that's wrong or right I don't do it religiously every day because I'm just bad at that kind of thing um, and I was, I've just got lots of different plans I will be doing the other side of my YouTube as well but I want it to kind of encompass everything that I'm about um, so yeah let me know your thoughts um, ideas of what you want future videos to be about and yeah I will let you in on some more secrets about what I want to do soon. Thanks so much for watching, don't forget to subscribe and like it if you choose to, <laughs> I don't mind if you don't, <laughs> it's not about the likes um, or the subscribers, I just want to help build women up. So yeah, have a great week and I will see you again soon. Bye. <laughs>